friends. <clears throat> Welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. So, I haven't painted in a lot while and I'm not even supposed to be down here right now because I promised myself I would take um, some time off because I'm still, you know, with my back if you've been watching. Well, it's actually my neck. I think I have a herniated disc in my neck. But anyways, um, so I actually have not painted in about three weeks or something and I was just kind of itching to come down here and then I said, well, I'll just come down here like I'm wearing white, like I'm not gonna paint. And then I saw this like one canvas sitting around that was like ready to go. And he's like, come on, do something. And I happen to have like a hundred paints mixed up behind me. Now I'm so overwhelmed. You don't even know there's three tables of pieces that need to be resined and I can't resin because you know, so it's like, I have no room to even put stuff anymore. Uh, I'm so behind on everything, but it doesn't matter. Um, I figure why not, why not do more? Uh, especially because I'm going away soon, so. But anyways, um, I thought why not do a video on tips of how to do big blooms, because that's the hardest thing. Um, I've already taped about probably eight or nine um, more YouTubes, but I think I'll show this one first to let you guys know that the next like eight or nine, which are really cool by the way, but I'm still kind of more hurting in, in my back, um, were taped a while ago. And for the next like two months, it's gonna be like older things while I'm away. But I figured for my last video for real that I'm doing in the next few weeks, um, maybe make it fun. So, Let's talk about, first of all, I haven't even picked my colors yet, but let's talk about tips for big blooms because that seems to be the hardest. The reason it's the hardest is because um, for a big bloom to be successful, you need to have somewhat of a thicker paint to hold up the blooms so they don't melt, but if you're, but it's harder to spin out the paint of a big bloom. Um, so the middle can start to warp if you don't spin it out too much. So it's about having the perfect consistency, which is the hardest. And that is your pillow as well. So if you don't care about cells, um, thinner paints and thinner pillow is always better because you could just like spin it all off. But to maintain big cells can be hard. So today, um, by the way, like, in, in the North America, I always find these work really well. It's perfect consistency, especially for big balloons. This is Sherwin Williams color to go. Um, I use deep base, ultra deep base with dark colors uh, because it's like thick enough, but not too thick, but whiter can be harder. So you don't want your pillows super, super thick. Now this is my Glidden Essentials eggshell, which I get at Home Depot. Now I leave it open for a few days to thicken. Uh, so hopefully it's not too thick, but so when I do my trace, so when I want to look for a trace of anything, I go like this and then circle. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but so it stays up for one, two, three, four, five. That's pretty good. Um, and the amount of paint, you don't want too much paint to be put on. Now, you know, I'm not a measurer or anything else, so you're, I'm not going to be giving you um, like exact measurements because who has the time for that, sorry. But uh, I want you to learn how to eyeball anyways because you're not always gonna have, just doing my hair, you're not always going to have the tools you need and you just sometimes wanna paint without measuring, right? Um, so those are the tips. Cons consistency and amount of paint are the most important, okay? Um, let's talk about color. So I still have all of my every piggy interference color mixed up from my last video. By the way, let me show it to you a few videos ago when I did the um, raffle for Porcon uh, with all the interference piggies. This is gonna be raffled off of Porcon if I can ever resin it. But, ooh, look at this, like the sun and the clouds. I love it, so pretty. That's maybe, I don't know how many videos ago, maybe three or four. All right, what else do we wanna talk about? Okay, so I have all the interference piggies mixed up, so we're definitely using that. Um, I do have a lot of like blues and purples mixed up. So 
Let's see what we got here. I don't even know what some of these colors are. Let's discuss, shall we? Ooh, this is pretty. Let me get a mixing stick to find out what it is. I should have been prepared with some sticks. Oh gosh. No. Mm, mixing sticks. See, I'm so all over the place. Don't panic. Oh, not a bowl right here. It's gonna be a little all over the place, but you don't care, do you? Okay, this, oh, is this my shadow green? It could be, it's so pretty. Okay, we're definitely using shadow green. So, this is a little thick, actually. It's probably been sitting around a while. So when I do this circle, what the consistency I'm looking for is one, two, sink. And this is more of a, oh shoot. <laughs> this is more of a one, two, three, four sink. So to thin this, I'm gonna use some um, Josania. Now, having your colors perfect for each color is really gonna help you. Josania gloss, by the way, my pore medium is Josania and Bear 8300, which you can get at Home Depot. Okay, I'm just doing a little bloop of Josani in there to thin it out because we, we want everything working for us the best. One, two, three, sink, it's still thick. Oh, sorry for this lighting, but I just can't be bothered to like move everything around, you know? All right, so we have this green that's happening. Okay, what? It's like a game, like what do we think this is? This is quite bright. Um, it could be um, phthalo turquoise. And that's what I'm guessing it is. I don't know if I'm feeling it. It's so, I mean, I love phthalo turquoise by, this is golden, but it's so intense and in your face. So we'll see if that's what the vibe we're going for. This, I know is cobalt teal by golden. Is it? Let's see, it's kind of separated, so maybe, let's see what it is. Yes, cobalt teal. You know how I, we love our greens and stuff, but it could be getting boring. This also thickened up. See, I haven't painted in so long, my paints are like super thick. Okay, so we have that going on. Hmm, what's our vibe today? Definitely the teal is our vibe, okay? And definitely, what's this? This could be my favorite golden peach, TLP. I think it's rosé actually, TLP rosé. This lighting you can't really see, but it's very pretty. Um, also quite thick. Like isn't teal and pink so pretty together? Maybe that's our vibe today. You never know. Oops. So, and then I have this, uh, which is something. Hmm. What do we think this is? This could be, oh, it's lightened up. It could be something I've made because I've just lightened it up a bit. But it's nice. It's a lighter purple, so I can't tell you the color that this is. But we like it. And it could be in our vibe today. You know? Fading that out too. <sighs> Isn't this exciting? I need to organize this place so much. Okay, and then one of my old school favorites is um, Australian Sky Blue. This is Matisse. I know it's thick. It already looks thick. Okay, so let's reevaluate what we have here. I think I'm going to eliminate the green, um, shadow green, and I think I'm going to eliminate the phthalo turquoise, okay? So we have, although is this boring? 
we have three tubies so, so far. I don't know if I'm feeling them. The, these with this, okay. It needs some depth. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna keep the rosé. Okay, what am I put you down? No. So you can see what I'm seeing, right? Okay, but like, hmm, what can we do? make it more interesting because I really don't want to mix up new paints because the whole point was, you know, not to do that. What's this? A little Diox purple perhaps? You know what? Let me um fix the video. Hold on. I'll show you. Ooh, this is really thickened up. Diox purple. I hope this isn't ugly, guys. A little more. Okay, so, and I haven't even picked out my interference paints yet, but that will come after. Okay, I guess we're feeling this vibe more. Ooh. So you guys can see what we're talking about. Right, good lighting. Um, let me fix the lighting, I'll be right back. Okay, this is a vibe. And then for piggies, we have that now. Why don't I go, obviously like with my fave, I think I'll go Twinkle, which is a blue purple, which you can't see right now, but we know it's there. Okay. And why don't I go like, I can go a green too on here, um, which is um, Macaw which you can't see, but, okay. Let's see, am I missing something? Um, <laughs> what's this? We have silver, no. All right, do I want a pop of pink or something? Is that too much? Like, Mm, boring, but wait. What if I get bright? I don't know. What's this pink? Do I want? I haven't done pink in so long. Like a fluorescent pink? Is that crazy? Let's see. It could be crazy. Hmm. I like that better than this. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, that's TLP. Um, funk, I think. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, I'm just closing up these lids. All right. Are we happy with this final product? Three piggies, four tubies. Definitely like a cool color combo, which, which. I haven't done. Is it going to be bright? Like, do I want another bright color at this point since we're going bright, which is a different direction than originally? Um, bright color. Hmm. I don't think I feel like a yellow. Uh, the yellow kind of sometimes gets yucky. But what about like an orangey piggy? Is it TLP Horizon? No, not feeling it. All right, I think we should just go with that, right? I don't need a blue, do I? It was so hard to make decisions. So I also have this teal, let's see. And then we'll actually get to work. Well, this could be pretty, like a lighter teal color. Why not? I don't know. So this is Amsterdam. Oops, that was something gross. Um, Amsterdam uh, teal. Um, 
All right. I guess we'll see, right? So. Oh, yeah, that's better lighting. Okay. Hmm. All right, let me um, get my gloves and apron on. And... I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if this is our final com color combo. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I've decided to switch. This is permanent blue violet. No, it's not. What is this? It's sparkly. Oh, this is a very old sparkly color. I don't even remember the name. Um, but it's kind of pretty. I'll add it. Why not, right? Um. But, hmm, oh, I have so many colors. I'm just gonna let go for it. Why don't I add one more? I'll add, um, is that crazy? I'll add ball gown, gold interference, TLP. Okay, I think we got it. And I have a lot of colors and we're just gonna go for it, right? At this point, I've got nothing to lose here. So, I am going to be using my hair dryer today. Now, I could mouth blow, but my neck, you know. Um, this is the baby lips. Is it working? No, of course not. Why would it work? There we go. Okay. So, I have my can here. So, my rule is I want to cover about two thirds of my canvas, but I also want to make sure that it's, oh, there's a bloop here, hold on, that it's spread out nicely. So I will do some spinning beforehand. So you want a nice layer for where your bloom is going to be blown out, but the rest you can really stretch out. So this can take a minute because I do want, like I said, a very thin layer. I don't want to have to spin it out too much. And obviously the bigger you go, the harder it is to do this. Oh, I see a blue. Let me get a, this thing. Now, I don't remember where I saw it. Let's see. So we're having a nice uh -huh, thin layer. Now, is this thin enough? So I go like this. I can still feel that it's quite thick. So if I don't want it as thick, then I will spin it out a little bit. But with my hand, like I can feel, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it's like a, an inch, an inch. Like it goes to about, like the tip of my finger, okay? And that might be too thick for me. So anyways, I'm spraying it all out this way, okay? Now, I might spin it for one second. Oh, I didn't talk about my cell activator. I have um, my titanium white mixed up, okay? And that's titanium white and Australian Floetrol. All right, so now I think I have a good amount, a good thickness. Just get it back in the middle. And if I'm ever worried, what I do is I put a little more dollop of um, the pillow right in the middle so the paint has somewhere to go. Okay, let us get, I just wanna make sure the light is good for you guys. Let us get to work here. So now that this is covered, I want to fill it about one third of however big I'm doing it. And to be honest, I usually end up putting more, but at least one third is good. And that is again, depending how much negative space you want. Here's TLP Rosé. Um, hold on, was that a little bloop? I'm always looking for little bloops as you go. You never know what's happening. All right. GLP Rose. Okay. Next, I have 
the cobalt teal. I'm just gonna drizzle this because it is opaque and you wanna be careful with your opaque paints, okay? Um, this is the TLP Twinkle. I have no idea how this is gonna go. <laughs> Cause it is a bit of a crazy color combo. Um, then I have TLP Funk. And I do like to just drizzle because I do like to have different layers of colors coming up. Again, depending how big my piece is. Okay, and then here, uh, maybe that first one was Macaw, and then this is the Twinkle. It's certainly gonna be sparkly. Let me wipe my hands here so I don't drip everywhere. Okay, and then I have a bit of the sky blue. Now the next two paints are also opaque, so I want to be careful. Okay, I'm just gonna like drizzle a bit. Doesn't even need that much. And then this paint, I know you're gonna ask what it is, and I remember I mixed it up just so long ago. It is a, like a metallic purple. And I forgot what it what it is, so. Oh, do you know what I think I made it? Yes, do you know what this is? Um, that is actually Diox Purple, and I mixed in the, some Triart Iridescent Medium into it, and it makes things metallic, it's pretty cool. Okay, this is TLP Ball Gown, gold inter, oh, I didn't thin it out, but a little gold shimmer never hurt anybody. See, it's kind of thicker than everything else. Okay, now, I didn't do the teal yet. Should I bother? Fine, I'll do a bit of the teal again, I don't want that much because it's opaque. And then I'll top it with a purple. And the reason I'm doing purple is because I have a white cell activator, but the purple sometimes does take over, so I'm just gonna drizzle that as well. Okay, can you even see the colors? Kind of. Okay, let me open up my cell activator. So, here we go. Uh, where's my cell activator? This bottle I got has been so good. I think this is a special bottle. <laughs> and it's the best cell activator I've ever had, the best bottle. Okay, this is still quite sick. We're gonna just drizzle a little bit like this. So right now it looks like a drizzled mess, right? It may, may end up like a drizzle mess, so you never know. But let me get my thing ready. So you can see it. Maybe I'm not, I'm kind of a third. Like I did basically what I wanted. And now I want to do a third of cell activator. Okay. blue too hard but let's see what happens here I'm just breaking up the middle yeah there's something that it doesn't my pillow paint is like came through a lot which means there's like a little discrepancy in um, my pillow and my paints I wonder why it's really cool cells but this happens when something is off and you can see it's like white cells which isn't great but maybe not horrible we'll see so definitely not color popping and i would have to think about why maybe it's because my pillow paint sat so long without being used you know what i'll do that in a minute okay let me spin, because the whole point was to get a big bloom, which we did. Um, so let's spin her out, and then I'm gonna start um, kind of making shapes and stuff. I'm just moving the paints out of the way, and we'll see if we like her. Okay. 
Like, she's pretty, but the colors aren't popping like I would want. So right now we are just spinning as much as we can to get all of the paint off. I do like the shape. So I'm gonna keep spinning until when I tilt it, the middle doesn't move anymore. It's definitely sparkly and ethereal. It just might be boring. So now we have the paint off the edges at least. Now, let me move the middle to see how much. Okay, we don't have that much, so I am going to now start shaping her to see. Now also because some of my um, pouring medium paint was so thick, it didn't reach the side. Now I could make it reach the side if I made my paints a little thinner and if I blew further, but I'm kind of liking these negative space blooms. I don't have that much too. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know how I feel about this one yet. I'm gonna keep spinning. Right now I'm just making like little petals. It does look pretty petally, you know? I'm really loving dainty flowers lately. This little thing's bothering me right here. It's not her fault. You see here, I blew the pillow right over. I think my, um, I, I didn't have it on low. I had it on high and I didn't realize. You know what, it's, it's kind of pretty. I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty, but I wanna show you, I don't have anything at tape that room ready to go. Hmm. She's really dainty. I'm gonna get this corner off a little bit. <laughs> So definitely like kind of a good example, but not really because some of you want your blooms over the edges, which I totally get, which you could do. I just think also perhaps my glidden has been sitting out too long, so it is a bit thick. So what I would like to do is show you with the dark pillow um, to show you the difference of how that goes. Maybe I should. The problem is I don't have any, I have a 20 inch here, but it's not taped up. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I'll show you a dark one anyways to show you the difference, what happens when your pillow is thick and thinner. But you know what? I don't hate this. It does need a few more spins. I just love flowers. You know what I mean? I love like feminine flowy flowers and that's, Kind of what we got going on here. You know, just like a no fuss flower. The colors are definitely on point. Um, okay, I'm gonna do a close up so you can actually see the prettiness of this. And then I'm gonna figure out, I'm gonna do the same thing but with a thinner pillow, and then you'll see what I mean of the difference of why consistency is important. Although I'm not unhappy with this, uh, just a different vibe. Okay, I'm gonna do a close up and I will be right back. I don't hate me, but uh, the next part took another like half an hour. And um, analytics show that most of you guys only watch 11 minutes of my videos. <laughs> so, and honestly, who wants to watch an hour video? And I know you also hate two-parters. 
I hate two-parters. I'm not trying to like build excitement. It's just, I go and like, and I don't stop and I keep going, okay? So, and also the dark version um, took me three tries. So it's another half an hour. The end result, pretty cool, different than how we started. I'll show you a little um, sneak peek, but it is a two-parter or you don't have to come back to watch the second part whatever i hope you enjoyed this video anyways and um let me know if you like the vibe of like the simple flower um i love you guys bye